All right, what's going on, guys? Boy, Ooze back again once again. We got Dragon Ball Super Chapter 60. We've been waiting very patiently. You know, this this home life, you know, the quarantine life right now, is actually been kind of speeding up the time. I have, like, no conception or idea of, like, time anymore. It's like days just go by. They just feel like they're just, you know, continuous. But whatever. We're here, Chapter 60. We got Miris' miscalculation. Uh, we did do a little preview um, discussion on the Full Power Podcast, which actually we will be releasing Full Power Podcast today as of when this video goes live. The Full Power Podcast will literally be recording while you're probably going to be watching this. So just putting that out there so that way you guys can go ahead and then follow up later in this same day. And check out the like full analysis and thoughts of everything. So I'm gonna pretty much try to keep my initial reactions, um, you know, here, and then do the breakdown portion on the full power podcast. So that way, you guys can I can point you guys' attention to the full power podcast. Which you haven't already, the links for the full power podcast are gonna be in the description below. Um, the I do upload the like a video version on here on YouTube, but again, you can listen to them as actual podcasts on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts, really. So, without further ado, this shit should be it. I haven't seen no spoilers, which I might start doing. I might start doing because, you know, we got we got, we got to find anything Dragon Ball worthy related to talk about. But, I might. That's a big might, might big if. I do, if, if it's official stuff, like a teaser, like they did last week with showing us literally the first nine pages of this chapter, then, uh... That's fair game, but I don't know about spoilers. Spoilers tend to come out like a few days before the official chapter gets released. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right. Mirus' miscalculation. Goku standing off Moro. Now we got Mirus. Wait just a moment. What's Goku doing? And then Whis. Oh my, it seems he's changed his strategy. Both combatants will be fighting at full power. Going right into it. Ah, yes, yeah, so... so I, all right, so when I was when I was doing the review or the 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 little breakdown of the preview of the of the rough drafts that came out um, on the Full Power Podcast last week, I was actually we were, we were so everything was in Japanese, and obviously now this is in English. Um, I technically said that I technically read my first Japanese uh, manga panels because. I recognize some of the characters of the the battle screen and grrr, like it was it was it was true. Kai and I were correct on that. So they're both like powering up and like their aura is like fully exploding almost. Like they're like kind of like like combining right now. We see the back. The, the, this is literally the exact pages of the preview, which is really dope. Okay, look at those clashing auras. Says Gohan, Piccolo. Neither one is backing down. Goku's trying to like come at him he's like they're both stepping closer to each other they're, they're literally pushing each other like oh man look like they're doing like that chest that chest like they're trying to ooh with the aura okay hold on hold on and then goku right in his face ah! like powers up right in his face freaking moro gets pushed back oh gohan says dad pushed him back okay so confirmed okay moro with the freaking energy ball he's about to throw it and then goku freaking soccer kicks that shit elbow Right to the torso, looks like. And then Goku switch. And then kick to the stomach. Brings his ass right back down. Oh, but, yo. So as he gets kicked, Moro freaking again. I remember this. He grabs his leg and then starts to toss him. And throws him right down to the ground. Ugh, freaking Goku. Okay. Then he still, he still has him by the freaking boot. He looks like he's about to hit him with the Broly special. Okay, Goku backhand spring. Oh, and freaking catapults Moro. Okay, Moro who gets back on his feet, stands. Oh, key blast. Ah, da, 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 da. Freaking throw with the key blast. All right, Moro's blocking. Ooh, this shit is nice. So this now we're not in preview territory for sure. Okay. Oh, but still Moro freaking gets right up into his face. Freaking punch. Goku blocks. Okay. Again, the trading of the blows, dude. They're going in right now. Face off. Face off. Oh, they got they they got they got each other in like a hand grip right now. They're looking like some wrestlers trying to do a test of strength, test your might. And now they're both smiling at each other. Like, okay. And then back to the to the uh to Whis and Mirrors. Mirrors goes, No, Goku, you can't. How long can he keep up that form while fighting at full power? 
Weiss goes, well, even if we had followed your advice and conserved stamina, or oh, even if he had followed your advice, excuse me, and conserved stamina to maintain sign for longer, I have my doubts that he could have made much headway against Moro. Amir's is like, huh? Oh, solid punch to the face. Goku tomorrow. All right, Goku's on the offense. Eat this. He's probably like, oh, yeah. all right. And then freaking knocks him back. Sock him bopper style. Holy shit, more fun than a pillow fight. Goku freaking, he's like panting a little bit. Moro goes, perhaps I approached you too cautiously after all. All right. If this is truly the extent of your power, then I will not fall to you. Goku goes, damn it. What is your body even made of? Okay. I sound like Trunks with that. Anyway, Mir uh, Whis goes, does Moro's strength exceed your expectations, Miris? Miris is sweating. He goes, yes. To think that he grew this powerful, I expect that Goku sensed that as well. Hence this gamble of his tapping into his full potential. Saiyans are known to exhibit untold power when their backs are against the wall. Especially Goku. Oh! Oh! And then Whis, he does one of these. He turns his head, he goes, and Vegeta. Alright, so we're back on, okay, we're back on the, uh, 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 wow, uh, uh, like, uh, on the yard rats. Okay, yard rats. Okay. Youch! Oh, oh man, what happened? Well, I finally did it this time. Well done, Vegeta, and to master it in so little time. Okay, so whatever the fuck Vegeta did, he mastered it. And it looked like he had some test dummies, and they're all, like, fucked up. So, we're gonna find out exactly what it is very, very soon. And Vegeta goes, great. And then Vegeta's like, he looks away. Earth is still in one piece. It seems like I'll make it in time. Okay, good. Now, transport me to Earth, Piaibara. He goes, uh, I can't go to Earth. He goes, what? We are, we are Dracians are forbidden from using instant teleportation to travel off our own planet. But you just go, seriously? Furthermore, we can only teleport to the location of someone we've met before. Like Kakarot, for instance. You've met him, haven't you? He goes, yes, I do know Goku's spirit signature. For some reason, I'm unable to detect it at the moment. Do you happen to know why? Vegeta goes, right. That fool must be using Ultra Instinct. And only gods can sense that godly chi. That's that's new, I think. We I don't think we've ever real I don't think we've ever actually Is that well, is that like a, a confirmation? Oh, well, let's keep reading. What now, Vegeta? Getting to Earth in my spaceship would take at least 10 days. Teach me. Teach me how to perform. Is it yes? Oh come on! I thought this was a part of the package, Dizzle. I, you would have thought that he would have learned that shit first, but okay. He goes, huh? Right now? Get, get to it. I will master it faster than any before me. Yo, but he's about to learn instant transmission right fucking now. Oh my god. Yo, he's about to learn it. He, oh, it's the chapter. This is the chapter. Vegeta is better, son. Blue Gatorade Diamond don't need it. Right, here we go. Go back to the action. Goku, freaking oh. Punch, try to punch Moro. Moro dodges. Ooh, gut check with the knee. Oh, Goku's doing it. Ooh, he's down. Ah. All right, and then Moro goes, Oh, what happened to your trademark speed? Gohan, Dad's attacks aren't landing anymore. Piccolo, oh, oh. All right, and then Goku freaking, yo, he's holding his stomach. He's still trying to fight through, but Moro, mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Moro, oh, shit, I went back. Here we go. Moro freaking kicked the shit out of him right now. He's bah, bah, freaking Goku is still kipped up, though. So Goku still got some fight left in him. Okay. He goes, crap. Right. Naturally, you have reached your limits, says Moro. That said, consider me shocked that you amassed such power. Goku's like, you don't get to decide when this is over. I'm not done yet. Madada. Right. So, so then he's like, power. He's like, huh? Right? Oh, you see the veins popping out. Oh, you see the freaking, you see the freaking vein. Okay, you can't see mine. Anyway, freaking, oh shit. He's, he's running. He's running. Oh, not running. He's flying. He, boom. Moro, damn, Moro, damn, look at his fucking. Okay, he, he palmed that shit. All right, so he, he freaking punched him and then uh, caught that jump. Miris, this won't work. By relying on sheer power alone like this, he can't make the most of Ultra Instinct's strength. 
Okay, but even so, he got an elbow check to the face. Oh, shit. More with a mouth beam. Done. Goku, point blank. He can't avoid that shit. He took it all. And then Whis. Sadly, it doesn't look like we'll be witnessing any miracles today. Yikes. Oh, look, we see Beerus. It wasn't meant to go like this, says Miris. Beerus goes, hey, Whis. I said I'm starving. I want to chow down on something tasty. Whis goes, very well. So I wonder before, well, let's, okay, I wonder if that's Beerus' way of wanting to go to Earth because they, we know that they love Earth food. They love, they think that Earth food is so tasty and delicious. I wonder if that's Beerus' way of showing a little bit of concern for Goku, even though they're not really allowed to get involved at all. But that is, that is something to note, I would like to say, okay? So, <clears throat> Miris goes, ahem, <clears throat> Whis. Yes, can I help you? Miris goes, at this rate, the Earth and so many other planets, they'll... Whis goes, Miris, the birth and death of planets is simply a part of the great and long cycle of the universe. Excessive meddling on our part would affect the natural flow of these matters, which is not necessarily a good thing. Miris goes, I, I, I understand that much, but... And Whis goes, what's more... Only the likes of Lord Beerus and the Lord of Lords can decide such things. It is not for us angels to intervene. Never forget that. Right, says Beerus. So, that's a little nice reminder that technically Beerus can fight if he wants to. If he, if he truly wants to defend Goku, but without saying that, like, if he, because he's the god of destruction, it's up to him. Like, he decides whether he wants to destroy or not destroy. So, but right, right back to the fight, Moro is literally pounding Goku right now. Pause. Okay, actually, he's lit, like, he got his whole foot on him. Boom, son. Oh, my God. Like, you know how Goku does that? Like, he is dead. He is, he, uh, oh, the eyes, the game wider. Er, Gohan, he lost the Ultra Instinct. Oh, my God. He literally kicked the shit. He kicked the Ultra Instinct out of Goku. This John is crazy. He lost Ultra Instinct. Moro goes, that's quite enough fun for now. Yes, it's about time to consume your energy. And now he's starting to absorb it. Oh, wait a minute. Boom. Android 1817 freaking it looked like they yeeted him right under the legs, but it looked like he just kind of just backflipped away to avoid getting hit by both of them. Okay. Surprisingly, I didn't think I didn't think 1718 was about to still be involved in this John, right? He goes, "Looking to snack on some life energy, monster? How about a taste of ours?" 17 goes, spoiler alert, we don't have any. Man, they shouldn't have told him that. Moro goes, artificial life forms? To think this planet possessed such advanced technology. Okay, here we go. Back on Yard Rat. Vegeta. Oh, he really disappeared. Uh-oh. Did he end up in that garbage? Ah, shit. Okay. He goes, damn it, it failed. So then, see, okay, so Piabar is like, you're doing it all wrong, Vegeta. You gotta lock onto the target spirit. He goes, ugh. I only needed to work this once. I'm fine if I can never do it again. Oh. He sensed something. He goes, that's Goku's spirit. Why did it suddenly show up again? Uh-oh. The rest of him is like, huh? What's going on? Vegeta, he's no longer an Ultra Instinct. The fool must have lost tomorrow. Oh, shit. Fine. This is an emergency, so I'll break our plans rule and... And get you to Earth. He goes, not so fast. He goes, I have a feeling I can pull it off. Huh? You mean it, Vegeta? Yes. I appreciate everything. Hatsuka, Haibara. Good luck, Vegeta. Oh, and he put him back in the... Oh, man. I thought he was about to fight in the yard drag outfit. Yo, I thought that was going to let that shit rock. He goes, boom. And he goes, well done. And during our brutal training, may you fight with confidence. Yeah, and he's trying, he's trying, and then, dot, 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 v Vegeta, uh, why don't you just let Master Piabara do the honors? And then, whoom, he did it! Yes, Vegeta's spirit is now on Earth! Oh, he must be good for Vegeta, son! Okay, incredible. Managing instant teleportation after so little training. That Vegeta must be some kind of prodigy, right? He, his achievements are the product of all his training. In that sense, he may be a prodigy, yes. 
one born of hard work. Okay, back on earth, 1718, kick to the stomach. Freaking, my man, Moro just went, flex the abs, back them off. They're trying to, huh? And right, and then they, oh, they're trying to go with the, with the energy hands, whatever. Hit them with the swipe. They look back. And of course, Moro goes, I see such power. It's almost a shame I can't steal it. 18 goes, what the heck? It's life. It's like we're fighting a lump of steel. 17, our heaviest attacks are barely making him flinch. And Gohan goes, Piccolo, should we join them? And Piccolo's, and what? Let Moro absorb our energy? Diving into this battle recklessly would only feed Moro more power. And Goku, oh, he like sits up. Darn, I didn't think it would turn out like this. And then Vegeta. <laughs> He appears in front of Kakra. He goes, Vegeta. And yo, he's yo, he's in front of him. He's in front of him. I don't I have to do a comparison later. I have to see when Goku came to save Vegeta on Namek. I don't think it looked like this, but it might. And I'm talking about back on the Frieza John, okay? And he turns back, he goes, Hello, Kakarot. He goes, It's Vegeta, he's here, Gohan says. Vegeta goes, Well, don't you well you think, well, don't you look pathetic? What did Ultra Instinct prove to be? Use to be useless, and he's like, "Did did you just use instant teleportation?" And Vegeta's like, "Worry not, I have no intention of pilfering your signature move. <laughs> I likely wouldn't be able to pull it off again, and I won't be learning it after this. Besides, I've learned a far superior technique of my own." Oh, uh, okay. So in order to distinct to this to this to differentiate the two. Vegeta literally only did it that one time. Okay, I guess I can respect that. So, is it safe to assume that if he ever is in the need to do it ever again, could he pull it off? I think so. But, that is since that is his Goku's move, he's not going to do it. Which, okay, he only did that one time to get back to Earth as emergency purposes, but... Still, like that, okay, I, I, that's Vegeta being prideful in his own way, right? He goes, hey, 17, 18, that's enough. My turn. Vegeta, he's like, that one is mine. He's like, Vegeta, you've finally arrived. And Vegeta goes, I see that our time apart hasn't done a thing to fix that joke you call a face, Moro. Do you enjoy tormenting the weak? Moro goes, the weak? You aren't wrong. While worms were hiding, I may have gone and become too powerful. And I've grown weary of planets that cannot provide fighters to match me. And then Goku's like, like he's like exclamation. Vegeta, oh, no cause for concern there. Oh, he, yo, he powered up to blue. I think that's blue. I mean, can't really tell. And Moro's like, huh? Like concern. He's like, you want someone stronger than you? You found him. Oh shit, seventeen, eighteen. They're everybody surprised. And Gohan goes, that's the Super Saiyan Blue form he used at the Tournament of Power. Oh, he was Blue Gatorade Diamond in the manga. Yo, it's official. It is official. Toriyama said, use it. I allow it. He gave, yo, he looked at Toyotaro like Toyotaro was fucking Rock Lee. And he said, I'm my guy. He goes, Toyotaro, I allow it. And he's, oh, Blue Gatorade Diamond in the manga, confirm. It is canon everywhere now. It's not just a toy, toy thing no more, boys. Oh, shit. Goku's like, Moro is, mm, he's in there. Vegeta in the stands. Vegeta with the charge. Moro is, mm, mm, mm. Next chapter, June 20th, son. And that is it. All right. Like I said, as promised, just to keep my word, I'm going to keep all of my thoughts for the freaking Full Power Podcast, episode 17. If you guys know want to know exactly what I thought, obviously you can kind of get what I'm, you know, what I'm feeling. But you guys are gonna have to wait for the full details because we're gonna about to dissect this whole entire chapter right now with Kai. So fear not, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts about this chapter though in the comment section below. Normally I would give you all my thoughts right now, but because it is today and it does fall on a day where it's like, you know, Full Power Podcast and I did say Full Power Podcast was going to come out on the same day, right? So, Jesus. 
getting like freaking calls right now anyway sorry rock so <laughs> anyway with that about to do this full power podcast right now let's li- listen to the thoughts watch the video version like that video as well but again like i said like share subscribe and comment what you guys thought of this chapter i thought that was it was fire of course descriptions our, our links in the description are gonna be right there as always please guys support the official release of these chapters support Toyotaro, support Akira Toriyama, support Viz, support everything about this. This shit, Vegeta versus Moro, next chapter, 61. Stay tuned, guys. It's about to be fire these next couple months. I'll see y'all next time.